大家好，我是 Eddie。Hi guys, this is Eddie. Welcome to the HSK series. Today's material is from HSK Level One Textbook Unit Five. Let's get started. 我们开始吧。第五课 ，Lesson Five. Her daughter is twenty years old this year. 她女儿今年二十岁。她女儿。今年二十岁，他女儿今年二十岁。他 means she or her. It depends on the context. Here it means her possession. 女儿 daughter. 他女儿 her daughter. 今年 this year. 今 kind of like. Today, but not exactly, because we have different ways to say today, this week, this month, or this year. I'm gonna talk about that later. But 年 means year. 今年 today year means this year. 二十 means twenty. That's a number. 二十岁 that's years old. Twenty years old, 二十岁 Now let's talk about how to say today. Today is 今天今天天 is literally day. How to say this week? 这周这周 because 这 means this. 周 means week. 这周 this week. How to say this month? We say 这个月这个月这个 means this. Now I know I told you this could also be 这 right? So here are two ways to say this: 这 or 这个 But when to use 这 When to use 这个 It all depends on different. Word combinations like how natural it sounds, and my suggestion will be just try to memorize、um, different phrases. So let's try to review. This week would be 这周这周 You don't need to say 这个周 I know 个 is a quantifier in Chinese, but you don't need to say that. If you say 这个周 that sounds really weird. 这周 means this week. How to say this month? You say, 这个月这个月 Now here you need this quantifier, 个 right? If you say 这月 and you don't say 个 that sounds weird again. So it's a little bit confusing, I know. But please memorize, just like when you study English, memorize English phrases and fixed use, right? Just form your sense of, you know, language. That's it. Let's check the warm up. 热身 warm up. 给下面的词语选择对应的图片 Match the pictures with the words and phrases. Now, what I will do is to read all the six phrases first, so that it will give you some time to think about、um, how to match the pictures with the phrases. Let's start. 一六口人，六口人 ，six people， 六 ，six， 口 literally means mouth， but here it's a quantifier for a whole family， like how many people in a whole family you use 口，人 that's people， 二，家，家。家 home or family. 三女儿女儿女儿 daughter. 女 literally means a woman or female. 儿 this character has different meanings in different contexts. It could be a son, like daughter and son, son, or it could be a child, a kid. 四
，学生，学生，学生 ，student。学 literally means to study. It's a verb. 五，七十岁，七十岁，七十岁 ，seventy years old. 岁 means years old. 六，二十岁，二十岁，二十岁 ，twenty years old. Now it's time for me to reveal the correct answers. Picture A, 女儿 Picture B, 六口人 Picture C, 家 Picture D, 二十岁 Picture E, 学生 Picture F, 七十岁 Did you get all the answers correct? Now let's study the text. Text one, 课文一 In the school, 在学校，在学校，在 Kind of like a preposition here, in, on, or at, depending on the context. 学校 That's a school. 在学校 In the school. For example, you can say 在家，在家 means at home because we're talking about home, 家 So we say at, not in. 在家。你家有几口人？你家有几口人？我家有三口人。我家有三口人。You actually can notice 口 this character from the new words list, which is the third word. It says it's a measure word for members of the families. However, for me, I don't say 口 I just say 个 because both 口 and 个 are quantifiers, but 口 is very limited. I mean, the use is very limited. Only describe the how many members of a family, but "ge" is a general quantifier. And for me, I even think that using "ge" will make me feel more comfortable than saying "ko" because it's just so written way, or it's like people from north speak "ko" rather than "ge." Okay, I will use. Ge, this character to read the conversation again. Let's start. 你家有几个人？我家有三个人。Do you like the ge version or the ko version? You decide. Now let's study the new words. 生词，一，家，家，家，二，有。有，有，三，口，口，口 ，and by the way， 口 literally this word could be mouth. For example， there is a very useful adjective which is thirsty， and you say 口渴，口渴 ，actually 渴 already means thirsty. But if you say 口渴 that sounds more natural. And to form a whole sentence, if you want to say I am thirsty, you say 我口渴，我口渴。Now let's study conversation number two. In the office, 在办公室，在办公室，办公室 means office. 你女儿几岁了？你女儿几岁了？她今年四岁了。她今年四岁了。你 means your or you. 女儿 means daughter. 几岁 means how much years old, 
which means how old, because 几 could be how much or how many. 岁 means years old. 乐 is a signal word for past tense. Um, but it's not only in past tense; it also could be in present perfect or even future tense. I believe if you um in the future meet more and more sentences, you will get a better sense of it. So here I will not make further explanations. 他今年四岁了。他 means she. 今年 this year. 四岁 four years old. 四 Means four, le, is a signal word for past tense or present perfect or even future tense. Now here, if you translate the second sentence, it could be, she is already four years old this year, right? So I deliberately add one word already in the English translation because if I say already, it will give you a better understanding of le this character. Because I told you, le could be a signal word for present perfect. However, for both sentences, if you delete le this word, these two sentences also make perfect sense. Let me try to read the conversation again without le this character. 你女儿几岁？她今年四岁。It really makes perfect sense if you don't want to say le. Just so you know. Now let's study the new words. 四女儿女儿五几几六岁岁七了了八今年今年 Just now, I told you, 几 this character could be how many or how much, right? But we have different ways of translating how much and how many in Chinese. 几 this character is only one way, and there is another way to say how much or how many, which is 多少多少 For example, if you want to say how much money, that means how much, right? You should say 多少钱多少钱 That's how much money. What about you want to say how much time? Maybe in a sentence like how much time do we have?、Um, but let's only talk about how much time. This phrase you can say 多少时间多少时间，多少时间 ？Now let's study conversation number three. In the office, 在办公室，办公室 That's office. 李老师多大了？李老师多大了？李老师多大了？他今年。五十岁了，他今年五十岁了。他女儿呢？他女儿呢？他女儿今年二十岁。他女儿今年二十岁。Okay. Now let's break down the sentences. 李老师。多大了？李 ，That's a family name, and I believe it's one of the top ten popular family names in Chinese in China. 老师 ，That's teacher. 李老师 ，That means teacher Li. 多大 ，That means how old. Actually, you might be familiar with 多 because just now I told you 多少。This phrase, right? What did I say? 多少 means how many or how much, yeah. So a casual way, a lazy way to say 多少 is you can eliminate 少 this character, just to say 多多 means how much or how many, and then 大 means big or old, 
So 多大 together is how much old or how old, how many old, how old. You don't need to say many or much. Just think 多 as how, how big, how old. 了 is a signal word for past tense, present perfect tense, or even future tense. In the first sentence, there is actually a very important grammar. That's a sentence structure, which is 多 plus an adjective. Now here you see 多 plus 大 because 大 is an adjective, which means big and old. So 多大 means how old. What if you want to say how wide? Like you're measuring something, measuring your bed or your desk, your table. You say. Ah,、uh, how wide is it? How wide? You say, 多宽多宽 How about you want to say how long? Yeah, you say, 多长多长 Because 长 literally means long. 多长 is how long. Make sense? Second sentence, 他今年五十岁了他 means she. 今年 This year, do you still remember how do you say、um, today? That is, 今天今天 because 天 means a day. 五十 that's number fifty. 岁 years old. 他女儿呢？他 means she or her. Here, obviously, is her. That's possessive. 女儿 Daughter, 他女儿 her daughter. Ne, this word actually means what about or how about here. So how about her daughter is 他女儿 ne. What if you want to say what about you in a conversation? What about you? You can say 你呢你呢 Easy, right? Last sentence. 他女儿今年二十岁她女儿 her daughter. Be careful with 女 this character. It's challenging for pronunciation. 呢语女 Let's try to use the phonics way in learning English to read 女 this character. Okay, read after me. 呢呢呢语语语呢语女呢语女 Tanyar, 今年 again means this year. 二十二十 is twenty. 岁 years old. Now let's study the new words. 生词九多多十大大 All right, guys. I guess that's a wrap for today's lesson. If you can't get enough of amazing Edgy's fabulous lessons, just simply subscribe my channel and stay tuned for the next update. 好了，今天的课就到这里结束了。我们下次见，拜拜。